Hello my art loving friends! In today's video I made a complete mess of my art studio but then I put it all back together. It turned out really awesome so stay tuned for the process because I think you're gonna like it. I have my studio completely torn apart. It's bad. <laughs> Tables over here. All my shelves. Computer. That's my main work desk that I used to use under that computer over there and this one right there oh, but I have a new desk coming in ah ran into the dog it's going to take up all this space I hope it is worth it here we are mid process <laughs> moved things about first piece of the new desk brought in I have no idea how this is all going to turn out it's probably going to be a mess but maybe it'll be awesome we have a few more pieces in. <laughs> we are trying to deal with the outlets though because I have one surge protector where it's a flat plug outlet where it goes flat against the wall, but this one, you can see, sticks out straight. Anyway, I have a DeWalt drill, but it's not a lithium battery, and so every time we go to use it, the stupid battery is dead. Anyway, we were just gonna drill a hole with a hole saw in the back of here because it's quite thick wood back here to let this come through exactly in the right spot because that's a pretty new outlet with USB and everything so I don't really want to replace it with the flat plug one that I have in the other area anyway <sighs> non-lithium batteries are sucky so Honey is looking for his lithium battery drill and hole saw bit thing we'll see but yeah, they're more old fashioned, but very cool. And I will show you what it looks like <laughs> even more as we get more pieces together. There's a lot more pieces. The cats are already very curious little creatures. <laughs> they're so silly. Oh, oh my gosh. That's Chica coming out and Cassie still hiding out in there. Silly cats. Oh, we have this fine mess now. This looks like a, an extremely overfull room that is extremely uncomfortable. Lots of extremely going on here. But this nice bookshelf hutch unit will go to the left of the window, but I do need to move the dresser that's okay. over there first. And then I tried that out right there. Definitely hate it. No way, Jose. So I'll put it under the window over there, I think, maybe. And wow, it just looks so uncomfortable and so horrible right now. So I am really curious how this will feel once my old desks are out, cause they're all still in here. See, that, that, that all goes away. That goes away. <laughs> I think it'll be nice. It's. The perfect fit for this room just need to i don't know reorganize and then it has like a little shelf on the top i could put some pretty baskets maybe with some stuff in them i think that would be nice yeah we'll see here's a different viewpoint uh, i can't zoom out anymore anyway that hutch is still going to the left of the window and i don't know what's going on the shelves over there yet that cube cabinet is definitely not going there as i mentioned before there's my feet anyway this is my old studio table the studio lights and the camera mount won't work on this desk because it has those drawers i cannot clamp those there but i have been wanting to get some kind of studio lights that just hang on the ceiling and go across like there in a big long way and shine over the desk directly so I guess that'll happen now because <laughs> I probably would have put that off forever and as far as the camera mount I don't know I have my tripod I could use for now I'll have to figure that out which is kind of a bummer but oh well anyway I was hoping to just finish this tonight so I could just come into work in the morning and not even think about it. But it's like 9 o'clock at night. I'm kind of fading because I worked at my little rental house all day and now this. But I really need to get 
a working environment done before morning. We'll see. All right, trying to move things out of over here to put the cube cabinet thing that I had here that was looking horrible, but I have to adjust some stuff, including kitty stuff. Oh, kitties. They're very curious. Got the guys to move that hutch from here to there, but they gave up on me and they're going to bed. Losers. Anyway, it's very late. But I have to put the drawers back in my watercolor dresser and oh my goodness, keep going because I still can't work and it's still a huge mess. Big sigh. Things are shaping up a little bit, although this is still more furniture than I'm fully comfortable with. Like it'd be nice to just have the that and the desk and hutches. This is still all old stuff that has to come out, so ignore that. But if I could get rid of those and that dresser, it would feel better. Because I don't like my room this stuffed full. Anyway, that's what this side looks like. Still too much, too much. And that that I have not finished from the other video. <laughs> anyway, and this cuteness. Alrighty. It's not horrible. Still working on it. Here's a view looking from the other side. It's a cool desk, huh? Anyway, I was standing in that doorway in the previous clip, so you can see that plastic table that has to come out still and things to put away. Yeah, I don't like all this right here. Let me try to get rid of this. It's the next morning. I decided I don't like all this furniture over there. So we're going to switch places with the couch after all and then see how much we don't like that. <laughs> Actually, I know I'll like it better. I put the couch over there. It's so much better. It's way less heavy feeling. So this is heavy feeling furniture because it's big and it has these hutches that come up above the desk. So having that free is great. So I put the couch over there. I may switch it and put it the other direction. Do need to hang stuff on the walls, but I want to create a large painting for that space. And then I put all this furniture over here instead. However, I don't like, it's too much, way too much furniture. I don't want this much furniture in here. And that is currently empty. So all of this could probably go in here. And this is all empty, including that top drawer there. So I could probably get rid of these two things. I just resisted doing that because they're good cabinets and I don't really have anywhere else in the house to use them. But maybe I could get creative and look around some more. And then having two different pieces of furniture, granted they're nearly the same color kind of, but it's just a lot. I thought about putting this dresser in the closet <laughs> where that bookshelf is there, but I don't know that all that stuff plus all the stuff from these other two cabinets can fit in everything I currently have. So we're just going to figure this out and I'll tell you what I figured out here in a second. We are all done. I did it, you guys. I got rid of those two cabinets by putting stuff in here and in here. You can see I use little kitchen containers over here for tape full and half pans, dock cards, and then I have an empty one with the labels in it. So many of the bins that came from those two cabinets are up there and they're not in perfect shape, but at least they hide the contents and I think it looks good. And it just makes the room feel more open and free. Let me walk you around this way. So ideally that dresser will still go in that closet and replace that bookshelf, but I'm not at that point yet. In the hall where the cat just came from, you can see that old white cabinet. I do have a place for that. I did find a place, so that's good. And I'm not sure about the little brown one that matches this one, because I have the one that was over here that I got rid of, but I think I'll find a place for it. It's quite high quality and I don't want to get rid of it. So maybe in the guest room or the exercise room or something, I'm not really sure, but. And then ideally, if I didn't have cats, except I have four of them and I love them and I'm gonna keep them, <laughs> that would go away and this would come over here and that's a air filter system there because this is the only thing remaining that I don't like. However, 
if the dresser right here could go in that closet soon, then I would move this over onto this wall with the hutch that it matches and maybe that would look okay or maybe I would put this little filing cabinet kitty corner in the corner <laughs> like the easel kind of is and scoot this tall one over. What do you think Chica? Do you approve? I do think that the cats like their cat tree being right next to my desk here. It has prevented them from laying on my desk quite as much which is really really nice. I couldn't find her in the camera lens, that was funny. Anyway, so that has been nice. They've been laying there a lot and they lay in their cat hammocks. I have a cat hammock in that window and one in that window. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? <laughs> I would say the only thing remaining that is really important is that I'd love to hang pictures because with everything that sits on the ground, it still feels a little bit heavy. So by bringing some pictures and the attention up onto the walls a little bit more, especially in that couch area over there, I think that would be the finishing touches. But I have company coming this weekend and my house is a total disaster thanks to me tearing everything apart. So anyway, I don't have time to hang pictures. I need to go put my house back together. I love studio redos and I hope you found this one interesting. It just feels good now when I walk in here feels like I can just get right to work and be motivated. And there's nothing wrong with plastic tables, but it does kind of feel good too that I'm not working on a plastic table anymore, even though it's a really nice eight foot long one that now I'm gonna have to go store in the garage attic because I know I'll have a use for it someday. Yeah. All right, me and my cats and dogs are gonna let you go for now and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bailey, now you're going after Bailey. Yes! <laughs>